In this video, we're gonna be talking about masking, which is so important to hide or show some parts of our design elements. And we have two types of masking in Adobe Illustrator. We have clipping masks, and also we have opacity masks. So first, we're gonna be talking about clipping masks and how to create them. So let's say, for instance, we need to be masking that rectangle with our outline in here. We're gonna be duplicating that one by pressing Alt or Option and dragging that one, pressing Shift to align it. And now we have our outline in here on top of our rectangle. We're gonna be selecting both of them. And then you can be right clicking in here. And then you're gonna be seeing make clipping mask. And that will be converting our top shape in here into a mask. So we're gonna be clicking on that one. And you will be having that outline is masking your rectangle. And as you can see, the stroke is already lost from our outline. And that's because masking will be removing the fill and stroke for the masking shape. And here, as you can see in our layers, we have a clip group. If we expand that, we're going to be seeing that our outline is already a clipping path. And you will see that underline, which means that this shape is a clipping path. You need to remember that one. And here, as you can see, we've got our rectangle clipped by our outline. However, we can be selecting maybe our clipping path by clicking in here. And as you can see, it has non fill and stroke. You can be changing that anytime by going to swatches. And let's add maybe a stroke color. I'm going to be swapping the stroke by pressing X and then maybe give it that outline color from here. And you can be selecting your rectangle as well. And you can be changing its color, for instance, or even you can be rotating that rectangle to have a different layout, maybe like that or you can be changing its size maybe from here as well and even we can be adding more elements to our clip group so for instance i'm going to be duplicating that one and place it in here and maybe change its color and maybe change its color to make it even more obvious so i'm going to be selecting fill color and give it maybe that color then as you can see here we have our rectangle beneath our clip group we can be dragging that one and place it within our clip group either above our rectangle or even below that one I'm gonna be placing that one above our rectangle in here and we can be changing its opacity from our transparency panel to maybe multiply to make it even more obvious to you guys or even you can be dragging any of these elements outside of our clip group so for instance I'm gonna be dragging that green rectangle outside by placing in here on top of our clip group and it will be outside of our shape and here is another way to drag elements inside our clipping group. So for instance, I'm going to be selecting that one and I'm going to be pressing Command X or Cut. You can be doing that also from Edit in here. You can be cutting elements or copy or paste all these options in here. And then you can be selecting your clipping group and then you can be double clicking to enter isolation mode. And here, as you can see, we are in layer and we have our clip group or you can see it as well in here, clip group. And we have our clipping path and our rectangle. We can be pasting our rectangle in the same place by pressing Command or Control F on keyboard. And now we will be having our rectangle on top of our clipping path and rectangle. However, it's going to be clipped as well because it's inside a clip group. You can be also selecting to edit your clipping path from here, either to edit contents or even clipping path by selecting that one. You will be controlling your outline. So for instance, I'm going to give it a fill color as well. So I'm going to be choosing maybe that orange color in here. And if we move our rectangle maybe below our path, you will see that our clipping path is below our rectangles. And that's how the clipping path will behave. It will be always at the bottom of the elements. So you can be exiting the isolation mode by double clicking anywhere or by clicking in here twice like that. And you will be outside the isolation mode. So let's say we need to create a shape like that. We're going to be moving to here. And now, as you can see, we have some duplicates of the eyes in here. We can be selecting all of them and move them around maybe to here. And then we have our outline in here. We can be selecting that one. And you can see that we have an open path in here. That shape is not closed. And as you can see here, we have an open path. And still, it's going to be working as a clipping path. And you need to make sure that your clipping path is always on top. So let's say you have that shape maybe at the very bottom of your shapes. So anytime you want to be bringing your clipping path to the top, you can be right clicking that path 
and then go to arrange and you can be selecting bring to front from here or even use that shortcut and your clipping path will be on top of your elements then you can be selecting all of them and then you can be right clicking and choose make clipping mask or even going to object and then clipping mask then make or even command or control 7 for the shortcut I'm gonna be selecting that one and here we have our clipping path and if we select our direct selection tool and I'm gonna be selecting that path you will see that we have an open path in here including the design elements inside you can be adjusting your clipping path anytime maybe like that if you would like to change your shape make it even <laughs> like that or even increase that one a little bit to make it look like that and you can be double clicking inside or even opening your clip group to check your design elements and you can be double clicking to enter isolation mode and start adjusting these elements around the way you would like maybe you can be bringing that one a little bit to here and so on and then we can be using our direct selection tool or pressing A to select our clipping path and maybe give it some outline as well maybe that color and anytime you want to remove that clipping mask or release it you can be selecting your clipping group and right clicking that one you will be releasing that clipping mask or you can do that from object as well clipping path and release so let me guys show you another example of using the clipping mask in a very handy way I'm gonna be switching to another design that I've been working on for some project in here so here's that design guys I've been working on that one for an entire wall so now here we have that design but we have some problem with the edges if we move these rectangles in here we're gonna be seeing that our design elements are going beyond our artboard so here's a quick way to fix that one and you probably guessed that one guys we're gonna be using clipping masks we're gonna be drawing a rectangle by selecting our rectangle tool from here and starting from the edge of our artboard and going all the way to the other edge in here and it doesn't really matter if you have a fill color it's gonna be removed when we convert that one into a clipping bath but first we need to be selecting our design elements along with our path and make sure that this one on top of each and every element in here I'm gonna be selecting everything like that and then we can be using the shortcut command or control 7 and that will be creating our clipping mask and fixing all these outline issues and sometimes it might be hard to clip multiple items like these ones especially if you have live paints along with compound paths and puppet warp tool and all these elements so here is a quick trick to create your clipping masks so for instance I'm gonna be drawing a circle maybe using our ellipse tool and I'm gonna start drawing my circle maybe from here pressing shift and maybe all the way till here so maybe we need to be clipping only that circle from our design or even we can be controlling that circle from here and start creating maybe a bi angle maybe like that so let's say we need to move that clipping mask inside our circle I'm gonna be selecting our mask and pressing command or control X to cut it then I'm gonna be selecting our circle and let me add an outline here to see it better and maybe remove our fill color as well then switching to our draw inside mode in here which is gonna be creating also a clipping path from our circle in here by default and you will be seeing these dotted corners which means that you are within the draw inside mode and anything we start to draw it it will be only within our circle or even if we based our clipping mask it's gonna be basted within our circle so I'm gonna be pressing command V to paste our design or our clipping mask within our circle and we can start moving our shape around you can be adjusting your shape for the best outline so only for that case you have to be using only command V or control V not command or control F because it's not gonna be basted within your circle and if we expand our layer in here we're gonna be seeing that we have our ellipse and we have our clip group within our ellipse so this basically we have two clipping bars or clipping masks inside each others and you can be editing your ellipse anytime by clicking on that circle in here to start editing that one maybe you can get that back to a complete circle as it was maybe or even maybe show just that part from your design maybe and so on you can get 
so creative doing that I'm gonna get it back to circle as it was and you can be editing your clipping group anytime from here by expanding that one and you can edit each and every element of these elements by clicking in here maybe double clicking on that one and now we are inside our clip group and if you try to select that one you're gonna be selecting only your clipping boss so this means that you need to be double clicking again to enter your second clipping group in here and now you can be selecting each and every element of these elements and you can start adjusting your design according to your vision and anytime you would like to get outside your isolation mode you can be double clicking anywhere to get outside like that and we can be zooming out and we don't need these rectangles anymore we're gonna be removing these ones and you can start moving your design around maybe like that or like that so that's it for the clipping masks hope that was an easy one and interesting one for you guys and we're gonna be covering obesity masks in our next video so stay tuned and i'll be seeing you